One thing you are going to hear a lot this July when the Open Championship goes to Royal Liverpool is that Tommy Fleetwood is from this area. And it's true. He grew up in Southport, sneaking onto some of the best golf courses in the world. I told Tommy, hey, I'm going up to your homeland. I want to play golf the way you're supposed to, the way they used to. And that is golf via train. That's how you do it on the west coast of England. Tommy got all excited. He said, my dad loves trains. Then he started immediately drawing up an itinerary for me. He goes, there's Ainsdale, Hillside, Burkdale. You could do all three, which would be mega. And I absolutely love that word because it is mega. It is absolutely mega. It all starts with a flight into Manchester's massive airport and you find your way to Liverpool Central Station. From there, you can go basically anywhere. 30 minutes west, that is the Hoylake stop. It's just a quick walk from there to Royal Liverpool Golf Club, as we know, the host of the Open Championship. 20 minutes north of Liverpool, you've got West Lancashire Golf Club. You get off at Hall Road, and sometimes, if you time it out perfectly, you run into someone from the PGA Tour. Jesus, look who we find here at the end of the drive. Ian Finnis. Here's my neighbor. I live here. I live in New Jersey. Sick. Do you want a drink? Oh, you gotta go. Ah, uh, sure. Why the hell not? <laughs> Back on the tracks, two stops north of Hall Road is Formby, but do not get off at Formby. We stay on for Freshfield. That is the sign with the squirrel, not far from Gulf Road, which is where you will find Formby Golf Club and Formby Ladies Club. Then there's the golfiest train stop of all time. It is Hillside. You find golf signs the instant you step off the train, and a 10 minute walk is gonna put you on the path to Royal Burkdale. We all know the deal there. It's 2017, it's Jordan Spieth over Matt Kuchar telling his caddy, go get that. Next to Burkdale is Hillside Golf Club. That's where Jack Nicklaus played his first professional golf event in the UK, which I think is pretty cool. And then the course across the tracks. That is Southport and Ainsdale, host of two of the earliest Ryder Cups and that's where the train gets as close as possible on the final four holes. <laughs> Having done it for a full week now, I think the ultimate truth about playing golf by train is that just not enough people do it, right? The Americans, they fly over here and they have strict travel schedules. They play 36 holes a day. They have private drivers of their shuttle cars and if that's your thing, fine, but it doesn't really help you smell the roses. There is a more affordable, a more relaxing, a more old school, more scenic way of playing some of the best courses in the world, and it is truly just waiting for you to take advantage of it. 